Hi everyone. So I've got another unboxing today. So this one is, it's another one that's been gifted. Um, but it's a little bit different to the other ones that I've done so far. Um, it's called Brew Tea. Um, so it's the Gourmet Tea Club. Um, so <laughs> I'm English and one of the things that we English people are known for is our love of tea. <laughs> um, obviously I know that's not everybody in England does like tea, but we are kind of known for our our love of a good cuppa. Um, so when I was contacted by Henry from Brew to ask if I wanted to do a, an unboxing and a review of this box, I absolutely said yes. Um, so it arrived yesterday, um, but I was working, so I didn't get a chance to uh, to unbox it yesterday. So I'm here today um, to do it. So it is actually letterbox sized. Um, but mine was, I don't actually have a letterbox, I have a little post, a uh, little box outside my door. Um, so it was, it was left in there for me. Um, and it says on the side here, discover better tasting tea. And then there's a little kind of tab thing to pull to actually open the box, which I'm going to do now. If I can. And I have some scissors here as well to help me. To actually get into it. No. There we go. So we have on the inside there this kind of a world map. So I'm assuming from that it means that there's teas from all around the world. It says join the adventure on it. Uh, and then it's um, covered in their logo. Something smells really nice. Um, so I'm sure we're going to find out in a second what that is this sticker back and we'll get into it so the first thing that I can see is that there is a bit of information about um, the I'm assuming the plantation where these teas are from so this is from Turkey um, and yeah so inside your golden discover sachet this month um, which is oh yeah just under here and um, you'll find Turkish Riz from Hemzin, which is a small town and district of the Riz province in the Black Sea region of Turkey. Um, so there's a little bit more information just about that and about the plantation itself, where the tea came from. Um, so there's um, one little golden sachet in here with tea from there, which I will hold up for you. So that's the little um, pack of Turkish Riz tea so it feels like it's loose leaf as well so I do have um let's see if I've got one here these little um you pop the loose leaf in there and then you leave it to kind of um diffuse in your um in your water for two or three minutes depending on obviously the brewing instructions and um, so I'll definitely be giving that a try I think it's is it a type of tea so it's a red color um, when you actually make it up. So that's the first tea. So I'll pop those to the side there. There's also um, an information leaflet about a company called Kind who make different um, breakfast bars and um, like, yeah, like nut bars, fruit bars, things like that. There's a discount code on the back. Uh, I think I've tried a few of their products before actually. Um, but there's one included in here and it's Blueberry Almond Breakfast Bar. I love blueberries. I actually like almonds as well. I'm not a massive fan of nuts, but almonds I, I can tolerate. Um, but it's made with oats, millet, buckwheat, amaranth, and quinoa, and it's gluten-free as well. High in fibre. And it's a pretty decent size, so obviously you could slip that in your bag, take it out with you if you're on the run. So then we have three little sachets. So I'll just hold it up for you and show you. I love how they've presented it. So they've got little um, sort of pegs there clipped to the top of the sachet to tell you about the tea itself. So the first one here is um, orange ice cream. So on the back there you can probably just see the tea mixture in there. So I'm just going to detach the little uh, card and have a little look. So this is creamy orange aromas mixed with sweet vanilla. Think of ice cream on a hot day, couple that with tangy apple and you have a delicious brew. Um, so it's big, orange and creamy, bright and citrusy, um, with a mild aroma of mint. 
so I'm just having a look. So it's from Morocco. Um, the finest fruits from Morocco make up this mouth-watering tea. The country is home to gardens of apple, avocado, almonds, bananas, kiwi, plums, persimmons, nuts, grapes, pomegranates and orange trees, to name a few. It has the perfect climate for juicy and flavoursome fruits. To ensure a creamy ice cream taste, the fruit in this tea was specially processed to reduce acidity, resulting in a smooth blend, perfect as tea. And there's little boxes at the bottom there where you can put your rating for how you rated that tea. Um, so I am, um, <laughs> I'm funny in that I do not like orange. <laughs> uh, I've, I've been sort of the odd one out of that for a long time. However, I know a lot of my friends who love orange. So this I can either keep here for obviously when I have those friends over after the, uh, the pandemic, um, or I can gift this to a friend of mine who will definitely um, drink it. But there's also the brewing instructions in there as well. So you put one tablespoon of it, uh, 100 degree water for 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so I'll attach that back on there. So that was tea number one. So tea number two says spring beginnings. And again, you can just kind of see a little bit of the um, tea leaves in there. So I'll just detach that again and I'll hold this up. So this is a harmonious premium gourmet blend of green, white and palmutan teas, I think. Um, so it's Japanese. Um, so the scents from this, in, from the initial opening become more prominent in the steeping stage. Desirable green with fruity kicks throughout. The palette is teased by a fruity aroma that makes this tea blend a speciality. Combination of different fruit platters um, flatters the smooth, fresh taste of white. Um, so yeah, it's from Japan, uh, which has a long history of volcanic activity, with eleven still active, such that much of the land through Kagoshima um, has been covered in a layer of volcanic ash known as Shirasu. This ash helps to produce soil that is exceptionally rich in minerals and creates distinct single estate green and white teas. So this is a green tea. I do love a green tea. And it sounds like it's kind of got that perfect mixture of fruit um, and sort of the earthy tones that green tea is known for. Um, so I'll definitely be drinking this one. Um, I like to have a nice cup of green tea in an evening, particularly when it starts to kind of, when the weather starts to get a little bit colder. Uh, which it is doing here in England now. It's um, definitely rocketing towards winter at um, <laughs> lightning speed. So I'll definitely be keeping that um, handy. And then the last one is KTDA. Um, so again, you've got the tea um, leaves there. So this is a black tea. Um, so let's have a look. So this is a bright, punchy black tea from the famous Kangata estate in Kenya. Um, so KDTA stands for the Kenya Tea Development Agency. Um, so this is sweet and malty. Uh, we absolutely love this everyday tea, stylish, well-made whole leaf tea, tightly twisted, high quality, and with a golden cup. So yeah, it's from Kenya. So it's situated between Rundu and Mukengeria rivers, which serve um, the community that live there. The factory receives clean, unpolluted water straight um, from the Mokengia River. The tea, tree, tea trees are deep, uh, well drained and thrive in the humid topsoils. So they are committed to effective management services to the smallholder tea subsector to ensure fair prices. So again, a nice black tea, definitely be drinking that. I didn't used to like black tea, but I've actually got into it quite a lot recently, um, particularly since I've started discovering different teas and, and sort of figuring out that actually you kind of, um, you know, Earl Grey is not the only type of tea out there basically. Um, so that's all of the teas in there. So you've got the three little sachets plus the extra um, discovery tea, which was the Turkish one, and then the breakfast bar as well. Um, this box actually only costs £10 a month. Uh, if you're in uh, England, the delivery is free as well. If you're in the UK, the delivery is free. If you're not in the UK, they will deliver. Um, it just costs an extra 2 99 which is nothing really. Um, you also get to uh, let them know what kind of teas you do and don't like. So obviously you're kind of guaranteed that you're gonna get things that you do, uh, that you are gonna drink or that you do like. Um, and they usually deliver, let me just have a look here, on the first of the month they post the boxes. So you should kind of get it within the next few days, so the first week of the month usually. 
obviously depending on what day the first falls on. So I'll just quickly show you them all again. So there was the um, black tea that was from Kenya. And then the kind of green tea, which was um, from Japan. And the fruity tea, um, which was from Morocco. Then there was the golden sachet of discovery, which is from Turkey. And then there was the information sheet um, about that, about the plantation. And then there was also the kind breakfast bar, blueberry almond flavour with a little leaflet with a discount code on there as well. So all of that for £10 a month is really, really good, particularly if you're a big tea drinker or you like to discover new teas or you like to have a lot of options there for um, if, you want, if you like a good cuppa. I have so many teas, <laughs> they're just actually behind me. Uh, I'm in my kitchen, so they are just behind, uh, behind the camera in front of me I've got so many of them I've got hot chocolates in there so many different things um, but it's always nice to have different options try things from around the world um, particularly at the minute because we can't actually get out and <laughs> go to different countries so it's always nice to try things from different places so obviously as always I'll be um, taking some pictures doing a review so I'll be sharing that along um, on the on social media and everything as I always do um, any questions obviously do pop them in the comments and I will answer them and I'd just like to say again a big thank you to Henry over at Brew for contacting me and sending me this really nice box of tea which I'm definitely going to get stuck into as soon as I'm finished here um, so I'll see you all very soon thank you for watching bye